Hi, and welcome to a new episode of This is My Architecture. I am Motaz with AWS, and today I am joined by Manju from Infor. Nice to be here, Matt Motaz. Thanks, Manju. Manju, can you tell us a little bit about Infor? Yeah, sure. Uh, Infor is a business cloud software provider, and uh, it's, a, it's a global leader in providing organizations assistance with uh, business processes. Tell us a little bit about this application that we have today here. What uh, does it do? Yeah, sure. Um, so today we are going to talk about Infor Governance Risk and Compliance product. It's, uh, it mainly addresses the risk and compliance for uh, our customers. Uh, so uh, most of our customers have 10 to hundreds of applications, and the applications generate a lot of data, right? both security as well as transactional data. And those transactions and security data is routed through the Kinesis stream into a service running on Fargate. And this service parses the data and after parsing the data, stores the data in uh, the Aurora database as well as the S3 buckets, right? And um, so once the data is stored in S3 buckets, we have scheduled glue jobs that do the ETL transformation on the data and puts it back into S3 buckets. Thanks. So this is the ingestion flow, right? The data right. ingestion flow. Exactly. Um, once the data is ingested, what do you do with the data? So once the data is stored in Aurora and S3, we have scheduled events that are managed by our customers that triggers the analysis. So it can sometimes it can be hourly, sometimes it can be on a few minutes. So those schedules are, are triggered on the analysis engine that runs on the AWS Fargate. And the, here we do the scoping of the analysis, and once the scoping is done, we trigger an EMR job and using the Spark engine. So the EMR in, uh, job that runs on, on the Spark engine basically retrieves the data from Aurora as well as S3, does the analysis, executes a lot of rules on the data, and once the anal as the analysis is in progress, as it finds the violations, the data is sent to the event bridge. Right? The information about the violations is sent to the event bridge as events, and from the event bridge, we send an SQS message, and from the SQS message, the, the data is read from services running on Fargate to process the data, to decorate the, those violations, and to send emails to our customers through SMTP server. This EMR cluster that you have here, is it transient or is it long running? It, it can be both. So sometimes it can be a short running job, sometimes it can be you know, a, an analysis that runs for hours together. Because you may be doing auditing for data that is one year old, or it can be analysis on a data that is just transactional, and you want to see if there's any fraud in a, in a transaction that has just been created. Can you tell us a little bit about the scale of the solution? How many, how many events or records are you processing? Sure, uh, for each customer, it can be millions of records per day. And if you add like you know, hundreds of customers, it can be you know, quite a bit, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Manju, for sharing this interesting architecture with us. Thank you for watching. This is my architecture, and see you in the next episode.